Should we start? Okay, I think we're going to start now. And hopefully others will join us a bit later. Welcome everyone, bienvenue, herzlich willkommen to the European Parliament, to this special event hosted uh, by Euronet. Uh, and we hope that we're going to have a very exciting, challenging, uh, interactive afternoon that we'll be able to take lots of questions from you. Particularly we have lots of students who have uh, a lot to say, hopefully, about the state of journalism. Uh, today and the reason, and I'm sorry I'm going to have to turn around a little bit continuously, the reason why uh, we are hosting this event is because there is a perception that journalism in Europe is in crisis, that there is growing disenchantment or lack of interest uh, in covering EU affairs. Why is that? We'll be discussing that and of course there's been the repercussions of the economic downturn. Lots of public broadcasters and private media organizations are cutting back in terms of their correspondence. We've seen uh, very uh, big drops in the number of correspondents here in Brussels. It used to be well over a thousand now. It's just down to a few hundred. Some newspapers used to have dozens of correspondents scattered across European capitals. That is no longer the case. Uh, and so we're going to be discussing all these issues. I would really encourage you to hold up your hand uh, when you can. And if you have questions or remarks to make about what any of our speakers is saying. Uh, and you can also make your points by pressing on uh, the buttons by your consoles in front of you in the, uh, just in front of you there, and you'll see a red light flash up, and that's how you speak. Unfortunately, there's a, this is a European institution. The lingua franca today is English. I hope that's all all right with you. And now I'm going to be handing over to Lydia. We're going to be hosting this together. She's a colleague of mine from Radio Slovenia International. Thank you, Vanessa. Hello, everyone. And uh, the, the honor to be the first speaker in today's Euronet conference. So uh, the person opening today's event right here at the European Parliament will be Isabelle Durand, the Vice President of the European Parliament. And uh, she will be talking about the subject Vanessa already uh, mentioned, the European journalism in crisis. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So, uh, I have to introduce this uh, discussion. And I want to begin uh, to say that uh, it's very important to speak of European journalism and media in the context of the crisis uh, that the EU is currently experiencing. We know that on each election the nationalist and populist parties win. We know that the European Union globally is in a difficult situation and so to speak about media today is, uh, I think, more important than never. Uh, I think that we need absolutely a European public space. That's a real uh, paramount and uh, to build this public, this public space, European public space, is a big challenge. The media and the journalists in this issue can, can play a vital role. And the media are, of course, the vehicle best able to spread the news uh, to a wider audience. But despite the efforts of the people and the participants in this discussion, because I'm sure that you are convinced that it's necessary and that you have to do that, we know that the European news are weak in the media. Uh, weak uh, in proportion, only 10% of the actuality of the news uh, are devoted uh, uh, on European Union and the rest is for national, uh, national news, national events. And all the media talk about Europe, but uh, few have the means to ensure an effective coverage. In addition, there is a little information on the other European country. In, in, in your country, you speak not only about your country, but about the other European countries. And uh, the, the figures are, the, are uh, uh, on average, 68% are domestic contents against 25% of international information, 4% from other European countries, and 3% on European affairs. That's globally the proportion in the, in the European media. So the problem is uh, how could we solve the problem of the poor presence of uh, Europe in the media? We know that the institutions have difficulty making themselves understood by journalists, the institution like European Parliament, uh, European Commission, or European Council, because the, informa the information is provided mainly by the European institution. However, there may be a language uh, problem between European institution and journalists, because there are, actuality, there are actually two spheres that coexist and are struggling to understand each other. 
On one hand, uh, the communication system of the European institution have a strategy to generate an extremely dense uh, mass of information and not adapted to the journalist and especially to the national journalist. On the other hand, the journalists uh, work on a national dimension and must submit the events in their national context. So this problem of understanding between European institutions and journalists uh, and the edit editorial strategies uh, is uh, the first explanation of the limited impact of Europe in the media. The spokespersons of the Commission, frustrated, established special relationships with certain newspapers, as the Financial Times, for example. However, the formation of clubs only accentuate this problem because only some uh, uh, media are concerned. The problem is also the, the role of a European issue in the media. We must find the right uh, editorial scale. European news is not owned by the national news or international news. It's not national, it's not international, it's European, but which is, which is a place of European uh, actuality. And without defini definition, it's difficult to treat European issue because it's not national, it's not international. Where is the place? Many newspapers don't have permanent correspondent in Brussels. That's, that's a situation for many uh, newspapers. And Brussels journalists are unable to process all the information uh, if they, are not, they have not one or more uh, journalists in Brussels. And the journalists in Brussels are uh, far from their national context. And sometimes they are a little bit like un corps étranger in the own redaction of the, 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 the journal. So it means that uh, it's difficult for a national journalist, a European journalist, to have a real place in the redaction of his own uh, media. The problem is also the portrait of a media Europe because there are national characteristics that relate in particular to the structure of the media field in each country. Each member state has its own media consumption habits. In addition, within each country, the media choice change depending of on the age uh, uh, or education. So the media is increasingly fragmented and there are fewer mass media Traditional media with the advent of new technologies are under heavy com competition with internet and all those new media. Uh, and the, emergency, uh, the, the emergence of new types of media, newspaper, internet, TV channels, etc., is a big concurrence of a big, com big competition. A small media space, uh, yes, but uh, yet important. Each state has its own characteristic and its difficulties, difficult to establish a unique portrait which would be very useful for the establishment of a European strategy dedicated to the media. The profile of the European media space shows a lack of homogeneity which compromises the creation of European public space in the sense of Habermas, if I can use uh, this reference. With this weak European media space, Europeans are not encouraged to share their news, and they know each other a few, and therefore have little incentive to discuss common concerns. There is a need for transnational media coverage of events in aim to close together citizens. So, uh, in conclusion of this, of this introduction, I want to, to, to give some recommendation of some uh, point for the discussion. I think that we have to do a real effort of adaptation from the institution to the journalist content. It's important regarding the European Parliament, Council or Commission. The journalists that uh, the, the have also something to do, the journalists should be better formed to Europe because sometimes they don't know or they, they have not enough uh, information of training. Uh, it's, it has to be a reflex and not longer goes into the background. So it will be, it's not a little chapter of the training of the journalists on Europe. It's on all the training, on all the training that Europe has to be present in all the discussion of the reference of the journalists. Uh, finally, there is a risk to limit the European information to the news provided by the institution, and it's not, it's not enough. It's like a bit like in a country, 
you speak only about the national parliament. It's totally crazy, the information globally on national level is not only l'Assemblée nationale or the parliament, or I don't know what. The information is on all the different issues and the, the daily life of the people. So uh, uh, I think that the national government and the civil society must also take this area and act as an intermediary to supply the European debate. Otherwise, it means that it will stay a little chapter after the West and you will speak only about Europe as uh, a very far uh, point of view, uh, a very far institution, and so uh, to change that, there is an effort uh, which has to be done by the journalists, by the institution, by the national authorities, by the civil society on uh, each level. That's what I, I, I would to, 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 to give you in the beginning of this discussion.